On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, if you've got a budget, we'll find a system that fits it. We're gonna be looking at several different price points from several different system integrators. It's the battle of the budgets on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds. This episode of System Integrators Weekly is sponsored by CDK Deals. CDK Deals is an online marketplace that specializes in discounted, genuine Microsoft licenses and game keys for several different platforms. CDK Deals has extended their 35% off deal with code BRAY25 until further notice. Get the deal while you can. Let's get a Windows key. We'll opt for Windows 10 Pro for the enhanced security features. CDK Deals offers an OEM license for a fraction of the price of a retail key. The difference with an OEM key is that you can only use it on one system, but that should be all you need. You will need to make sure you either have Windows 10 Pro already installed or you perform a fresh installation since OEM keys cannot be used to upgrade from Windows 10 Home if that's what you have installed currently. Here I use code BRAY25 to get 35% off. Now my copy of Windows is only $13.60. Pay with your method of choice and once the payment goes through, Click View Keys slash Codes. Click Get the Key and copy it. Then just go to your Windows search, type in ACT, up oh, there it is. Click Activation Settings. My Windows install was already activated, so I'll be replacing that key, but yours should just say Activate Windows. Paste in the key, click Next, and Activate, and you're done. Thank you, CDK Deals, for continuing to support the channel. Hello, everyone. I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where we're excited, genuinely, slightly, a little bit excited and pleased, even maybe a little bit. The uh, RTX 3050 was um, announced and released and reviewed. All that whole cycle happened and it wasn't awful. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It was okay. Like it's, it's it maybe a decent, budget offering like seriously yeah, no okay let, let's 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 back up a second because before the optimism sets in very dangerous thing okay um you can get better gameplay from a 2060 which i guess is fair because it's a 60 series right it's a it's a 2060 and 3060 are supposed to be comparable to each other not a 3050 and that's what nvidia went for However, price-wise, it doesn't quite match up. Price-wise, nothing matches up, I know. Where they tried to price it, it doesn't really make sense, and it should be compared, as Jay said, Jay's two cents, that it should be compared to a 1660 uh, from the previous gen. Uh, so somewhere between the 1660 and the uh, 2060, where it should fall, I guess, or it should be around that area. And it did beat a 1660 in most things, so that's, <laughs> that's definitely good. But no, a, an RTX 2060, can beat the new 3050. So if you're thinking, I gotta get a 30 series, I, a 3050 is available and maybe I could buy it or maybe it's not available, but look, it's in this pre-built and uh, right next to a 2060 one and the 2060 is gonna give you better performance. Oh, but wait, the 3050 can do DLSS. So can a 2060. So what we're gonna do, because there's that, that's be becoming available on a few system integrator sites, we're going to start looking at some more budget options, but we're also gonna check other budgets too. Last time I stayed low budget, but we're gonna go through several different price points. Check the timestamps in the description below if you're impatient. If you like me, watch the whole video, please, because viewer retention is important and my videos are long because I talk a lot. It's a problem, I know. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna be looking at systems that are under $1,000, and we're gonna be looking at systems $1,000 to 1,500, then 1,500 to 2,000, then 2,000 to 2,500 and up, okay? Guys, by the way, if you see this video right now, there was another video that launched today and it is a tour of the setup, a setup tour, if you will. Something that was actually requested when I posted some pretty dope pictures of the new setup in the Discord. So um, when my community wants it, they get it.
I know this looks like a mess. It is all with purpose, I promise. You guys, go check out that video. Do me a favor, do me a solid. Please watch that video because I guarantee you I went crazy putting a ton of work into it. Before we get into that, of course, I should say a few things about disclaimery things, and they're very disclaimer-like. If you don't like disclaimers or possibly you're allergic, um, just watch from a distance and take some antihistamines because they're still important. This video was filmed for January 30th, 2022. All the prices and availability that you're going to see here, I point this way a lot, by the way, that's where my monitor is that I see this stuff on, okay? Um, the prices and availability that I'm gonna talk about here will change pretty quickly, that's fairly normal. If you see something you like and you go to get it, because I do put links in the description now, um, and it's not there, well, you can either take that as a template for another system you might wanna find from another system integrator, um, or come to the stream. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I say around because it might be 8.15 when I start. Please, if you're there and I'm not there yet, and it's like 8.07, please don't panic. I'll be there, I promise. And you can find those streams in the link in the description below, or just go to the URL bar and type in twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. The other thing is that um, I'm going to apply my opinions to some of this because that's what happens when words are put together. So just bear with me, and if you disagree, that's totally cool. You are also human and are able to do that, and it's totally normal, but please do so politely in the comments below or on the Discord, which is linked below as well, a vibrant and fun community that is actually not a ghost town Discord, like that you might have a few of those on your roster there. No one ever talks. This is not that. The swarm is busy. Busy little bees is what they are. Now, the last disclaimer that I'm going to throw in here, and this one is important, is that you're buying a computer that may be shipped to you. In fact, it definitely will unless you, I don't know, drive across states to go to where this place is and pick it up in person. However, you must know that the state of the shipping industry, they're, they're understaffed and the staff that is there is overworked. These guys are doing their best. Maybe they're not doing their best. It depends on who the individual is, but um, it may get jostled around. There might be issues and it might arrive where it's DOA and it's not turning on. Understand this is a part of buying things online. It's probably happened to you before, but probably not with a whole computer that you've been waiting for for a long time. I understand the disappointment. Just know that you are buying at your own risk and very few things in life are guaranteed. That's why warranties are good. And that's why RMAs are good. That's why you want to handle that stuff quickly. I have tons of people in my community who've had perfect experiences with their PCs. They arrived safely, turned on just fine. The few people who have had issues have pretty much gotten them fixed through RMAs, through customer service, or if they decided, you know what, I can wait so I'm gonna go ahead and return this one and just order another one from another company or whatever. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So let's talk about a thousand dollar budget. A couple of years ago, I would have happily helped you find a budget gaming PC, anywhere from $650 to $1,000 or build one. You could have built one like that easily. Those times have passed, maybe forever, probably not. As a matter of fact, we got some new budget options that have entered the field. The 12100 from Intel and the 3050 might make a very potent combo for 1080p gaming. However, you're unlikely to find that combination for under $1,000, at least for a while. So if your budget is under $1,000, I implore you, the, the two best options, in my opinion, wait some, wait a little bit for those to be more available to where they're not being overpriced or save up a bit more, just a couple hundred bucks to get you out over that thousand dollars, okay? I'll show you options in that price range. That's part of the plan. But first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some options from Skytech because Skytech has sub $1,000 systems and so does iBuyPower, by the way. But we've looked at that one before and right now we're gonna look at what Skytech has to offer in that price range. Uh, looks like it goes all the way up to here. Just this first row. It's just the first row. Now, I will say that they pretty much have lined up under $1,000 to have a GTX 1650, an NVIDIA GTX 1650. Now, the GTX 1650 is no like GT 1030. 
waste of space, basically just a display card, a display adapter. It's not a gaming card, okay? GTX 1650 is not like that. You can get some 1080p frames, you know, you can, if you set your graphics to low or or, pay, or if you play esports titles that are, that can run on a toaster, you can get over 60 frames per second. Honestly, the performance is around the same performance as the recently released um, AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT. That's not a compliment to be clear. I don't really recommend it. I would push for you to go higher because these are not only with 1650 GPUs, they also have a uh, i3 10100F, now not, not a bad budget gaming CPU. But I mean, the overall build, at least these all have dual channel, whoa, not all of them. This is what I was talking about though. If you push up to a little bit higher, okay? Ryzen 5 3600 and a GTX 1660 Super, this is 1660 Super, you're starting to, now you're talking. St you know, still one of the best budget GPUs on the market. Um, then you start to go up a little bit more, you get to the 11400F. The 11400F and 10400F will outperform the, R the, the Ryzen 5 3600 off out of the gates. However, you can't overclock those and you can overclock a 3600. And then you keep going a little higher, things do get a little bit better. 6600 XT is where you start to get in some real gaming performance. No, don't use ray tracing though. These cards do have hardware accelerated ray tracing, but it's the first effort from AMD to do that, and it wasn't great. Uh, once you get up to 1349, that's when you get an RTX 2060, and the RTX 2060 is still a banger. This one, 1080p gaming, yes. Esports titles, 1440p, absolutely. 16 gigs of DDR4, 3000 megahertz. Why didn't they put the 3200 in this? I don't know. Ryzen processors pretty much need fast memory. That's kind of their thing. You get generally way better performance out of your processor with faster memory if it's a Ryzen processor. I mean, it's kind of a rule in general, but especially with Ryzen. Uh, once you get to 1399 is when you see the Ryzen 5 3600 with a 3060. That's when you're getting a 30 series GPU. Um, you are still gonna be, it's not a huge jump over the 2060, just to be clear. I get this question all the time. Why don't you cover this third party retailer, this third party retailer, this one, Best Buy, Amazon, Newegg, whatever. I have my reasons with Newegg. Does imagine this is Newegg? No, okay, no. Um, but for Amazon, Best Buy, whatever. Let's take a peek at Amazon for a sub $1,000 system. It's not good. This is a GeForce GT 1030. Let's see how they describe this thing. Oh, eight gigs of RAM, DDR3, quad core i5 3.2, which, wow, who's buying this? It doesn't tell you which one it is. It just says quad core i5 3.2 gigahertz. Oh, a one terabyte SSD plus a one terabyte hard drive. Why does it then say two terabytes hard disk size? But someone might see this and say, I see RGB. That's what my friends told me makes a game go faster. I have to get this. It has no business being called a gaming PC. And um, you gotta understand, this is why there, there are gonna be some okay deals on Amazon. Maybe someday, I'll sift through the madness and I'll find some for you guys. But the problem is, if there's an issue, I want you dealing directly with the system integrator. I don't wanna have you go through Amazon returns or whatever. And you might be able to still call the original system integrator if you buy their system from Amazon, but like still, better just do it through the system integrator, hands down, okay? I have several reasons I've gone over and over in past videos, okay, including how things are packed. Yes, it is different if you get it packed differently in there, if you get it from Amazon or if you get it from directly from the system integrator. I know that for a fact with iBuy Power Ready systems, it is true. I've gotten two systems from them. They were both amazingly packed. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> because I prefer going directly to the system integrator, that you're not getting these bargain basement deals on dubiously named gaming PCs, you're gonna get something legit. Save up a little bit more. This is where budget gaming is at now. It's it's over a thousand dollars. I hate it, but that's it's, it's just where we're at right now. So let's take a look at stuff that's just over a thousand dollars. Now, I got really excited about. Ava Direct in this situation because 
they have the B660 motherboards, except that they kind of don't because it says delayed shipping. And the only one that is not delayed shipping is an Aorus Master B660, which is gonna cost you more than you should pay for a B660. You're gonna be in the territory of a Z690 motherboard. Uh, B660 is fine for budget, okay? You lose out a little bit of options there and you can't overclock on the CPU. But we were looking at a i3 12100F. So the whole thing about 12th gen Intel is that it has performance cores and efficiency cores. Well, not for the 12100 or the 12400. You're not gonna find a K SKU, meaning a like there's not gonna be a 12100K or 12400K. That's 12600 and higher where you can get the K SKU where it's overclockable, unlocked and all that, okay? However, that doesn't mean they're bad for gaming. It just means you can't overclock them. So here you see the new 12400 beating a 5600X that's much more expensive than the 12400. And the 12100F in Far Cry 6 is right there, cl really close to the 10900K. It's even beating the 11400, the 3900X, 3700X, and a 3600. And this is their most budget of budget CPUs. So you know, when you look at a benchmark at, like this, and you know like, I need a budget CPU, do not look at the top ones and feel bad that you're not getting the one that's up there. I promise you, you do not need a 12900K. Even if you can afford one, you probably don't need one. Yes, it beats everything at gaming, but it also is amazing for content creation. Uh, so yeah, 12100F, and they're listing the 3050. This is why I'm saying wait a bit, because it's delayed shipping. It must be hard to be doing this in the hardest time to be a system integrator, pretty much in the history of the term system integrator, but that's frustrating. I'm not frustrated with you. I'm frustrated with our situation. You guys have a really clean interface and config configurator, uh, tons of options on, on the configurator. I appreciate, I appreciate that as someone who likes to min max a system. So because this is delayed shipping, the price of 1209 with a 3050, and a uh, 12100F, and you saw how well that was performing on the benchmark. Thank you, Gamers Nexus, for being so thorough. You guys are awesome. Uh, let's take a look here at, uh, of course, same-day ready systems, and the one that sort of matches up with what we're looking at is 1249. Now, this one, for 1249, has a Core i5-12400F and a GTX 1660 Ti. Now, comparing these, this is from um, Hardware Unbox, and they're also fantastic for in-depth coverage like this. You see in Horizon Zero Dawn, which is still very much favored as a, a way to, to run a benchmark, you'll see the GeForce GTX 1660 Super, okay? Now, the 1660 Super and TI are pretty close to each other. There are some slight differences, but we can use this as a uh, sort of a way of looking at this. 3050 is just above the 1660 Super, with the 2060 getting a pretty solid lead right there. I have this one here and it's not bad. And it has a 12400F, which as you saw in this other chart over here, my goodness, we're going through a lot of these. It, be it beats a 5600X. So maybe it evens out a bit uh, over the 3050 because it's really close to that. However, okay, for 1149 plus a little extra, and I'll tell you about that. You can get a system that has an 11400F, but it has a 2060. That's right, this one has a 2060 for less money. And let's be clear here. Uh, we can talk about CPU performance in gaming all day long. The most important factor in gaming is going to be the GPU. That's how that works. Uh, so yeah, 2060. This downside here is that it only has eight gigs of RAM and it's slow memory. So what do we do about that? Well, this is what Amazon is good for. Bam. It's even got RGB and this kit is only $91. So essentially, you're getting it up to about 1250. However, it's got a better GPU. This also does have some airflow, has some. But yeah, this is a decent option right here. It's got the airflow you want. It does have a stock CPU cooler. You might be okay with a stock Intel cooler and you won't, they're not good. So the next step in your evolution as a PC nerd, as a computer nerd, is that you would change out the cooler. Get yourself a $30 Vetro V5. It was reviewed favorably even by Gamers Nexus. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pass up $1,500. Well, we're looking at $1,500 to $2,000 now. Okay, so let's do that. 
So, uh, this system right here, 1699. It is an iBuyPower Gaming Ready Slihabuga 204. This one has a an Intel Core i5 12600KF and an RTX 3060 Ti right there. That's that's a nice one. And guess what? They brought it back. This is like every week. They have it, they don't have it. They have it, they don't have it. But right now, it may change by the time you go do it. Try using code RDY for this system right here. You should get 50 bucks off. That makes this thing 1650. The 12600 KF, I probably wouldn't cool this with a 120 millimeter AIO. So for your consideration, the V2 version of the Master Liquid ML240L. The V2 shouldn't have the leaking issues of the version one. And um, yeah, 99 bucks more or less, depending on where you're shopping and what you're looking at. So now that might not have a bracket for it for LGA 1700. You'll want to request that from Cooler Master. As soon as you order this thing, make sure you request that other one from Cooler Master. They may send it to you for free. So that is coupled with the 3060 Ti. We love it. Asus Prime Z690P D4 with Wi-Fi. That D4 means it's DDR4, and that's 16 gigs DDR4 3200. It is their favorite kit of memory to put in everything. Uh, 600 watt power supply. It is right at the line of what you would want for a 3060 Ti, what NVIDIA recommends. And the 12600KF can now, I believe, turbo indefinitely. It's not time limited anymore like the previous ones were. So at some point you might want to upgrade your power supply. You see, there's little things you can improve over time because they don't really optimize it 100%. Now I'm gonna compare this one though to this guy right here. This one is a 12600K and it comes with a 3060 Ti. However, it is $200 more and it does come with a 240 millimeter AIO, but and a little, little bit more airflow because it has perforation, on the, it has these vents on both sides of the front panel. Uh, Z690 DDR4 motherboard doesn't tell you which kind it is, which is normal for both companies actually. It's rare that, it's it's less common that iBuyPower tells you what you're getting there. Uh, you do have AC Wi-Fi, so that's the last, gen, the last standard of Wi-Fi, not the most current one. It has 16 gigs of DDR4, 3000, 3000 megahertz. This is the kit that they like to use. Uh, so this one is an option. It, it is an option. Um, in the case, you might be able to get away with this one without taking the front panel off, like I always recommend with, and look, I showed you in the last video. Go back to the last video and watch as I showed the clip of Linus pulling off the front panel on a case on a build he was doing, saying if you don't have good airflow on the front panel, pull it off. Um, so this one is an option and it does seem to be available and it is 1849. This is an instant ship system. It is built, ready to ship out. Now, before you do that, Consider this. This is the Centurion, and this one has a 12600K and a 3060 Ti, just like we were talking about. This is Alexander PCs. If you haven't heard me talk about them, I've been talking about them more frequently lately because things are changing over there. They're changing things up a bit, and they were already really good. Uh, it's just not as much of granular customization as you get from like iBuyPower, which is a huge company. And even, you know, Artesian Built has a ton of customization stuff you can do on the site. However, they're adding some things. Here we can change the cooler. It goes up to 2,098, it's $100 to get that. And it's installed for you. That might be worth it to you. Especially considering that uh, we have the only coupon code for Alexander PCs, other than what they have for uh, active duty military, veterans, uh, law enforcement, and, 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 and firemen, fire people. Fire people? Firefighters, that's the word. Uh, it, the gears are rusty, but they still turn sometimes. It's just my name. And you get 50 bucks off any system on there. So, but this has faster memory, DDR4 3600, 16 gigs. You could even double that to 32. And also in this cost is included warranty and shipping, lifetime warranty and your shipping costs. Now they go over, look at this, this whole thing right here. What other system integrator does this right here? Where you get like the story, everything described. These guys love what they do. Plus you get a great case with this. And there's no question about the airflow here. It's a Lee and Lee uh, Landcool 215. It is fantastic. Ah, I get it, it's fantastic. Uh, okay. You get a beautiful build quality here. And uh, it has the everything. Everything is, is, is top notch. You don't just get a an M.2 drive, one terabyte M.2 drive. It's PCIe Gen 4. Uh, you don't just get like whatever RAM they have lying around, DDR4 3200 or 3000. It is what they call performance DDR4 3600, and it has RGB. 
It gets a 750 watt power supply, so it's 150 watts over what NVIDIA rec recommends for the 3060 Ti, which is great because it actually leaves you more room for overclocking your 12600K on this awesome ASUS Tough Gaming Z690 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard, which is well known to be able to overclock fairly well, very well actually. So, and also you're going to get it with your XMP enabled you're gonna get it with Windows installed, activated and updated, BIOS and drivers updated and optimized because they do that stuff right before sending it out. And then just ready, you plug it in, install the games and you're good to go. Uh, plus you also get sleeve cable extensions. By default, it's included in that price. So when you're thinking like, man, that's, that's more expensive than the other one by like a certain number of dollars. Well, because there's a lot baked into that price, as a matter of fact, you can see the price of just the parts by going to this PC part picker link right here. And it is a core parts list. It doesn't include like the price on the cable extensions, the warranty, the shipping, all that other good stuff. We're gonna go back to a site that we haven't taken seriously for a little while because they were a little behind the times. And um, no, I'm not talking about NZXT and their refusal to accept that air is a thing for like three years. No, no, we're talking about build redux. Now, it seems like I may have skipped a budget here, 2000 to 2500. However, I didn't. You're lying right now. Stop lying. Uh, we're gonna customize this because just guess what? Guess, just guess. No, 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 no. Don't look, don't, don't look at the screen. Cover your eyes. Guess, guess. Okay, you stop trying to guess. They have 12th gen Intel now. And um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not angry with them anymore because now they're, 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 they're caught up with like everybody else. Way to go, guys. Um, so yeah, it's not just, 10th gen Intel and 5000 series Ryzen processors, which are still great, by the way, don't get me wrong, but they needed to get 12th gen here. So you can get this into, look, I went 12600K, which is fine if you're just gaming. 12600K does better Photoshop, does better in Photoshop than my 5900X. 12600K is redonkulous. And I mean that in the, in the Merriam-Webster definition of redonkulous, like that's what that is. Is it in the dictionary? I'm not about to go look that up. What do we look like? So this brings it down to 2412. You can make other changes. You don't need to go with a 3080, but you don't need 3080. If you're not gonna do any 4K gaming, you're just gonna do 1440p, you could start at a 3060 Ti. Guess what? That brings us down to 1902. I don't recommend a 12600K build from them. I'll tell you why in a minute. And there are some caveats to build Redux. And that comes in, uh, if, if a company is going to disallow you from customizing your system. They better do a great job of specking it out themselves, right? All we can change is five things. And one of them is whether you get Windows or not. You can choose no. Go back to my sponsor ad thing. You can install Windows yourself and use a key for $13.60 and save yourself $109. That's pretty nice. But aside from that, graphics card, processor, memory, storage, that's it. The memory, you can't change the frequency. You get whatever they give you. And that is from this chart right here. That's right, 12600K gets 3200 megahertz. And you can't change that. 12700K, 3200 megahertz, everything 3200, unless 10th gen Intel, then you get 2666 megahertz. Yeah, you change your processor, it changes the motherboard on some of these. You're still gonna get a Z690 motherboard if you get a 12600K. If you go with a 5600X, you get a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. You go with a 12600K that runs hotter, you get a Hyper 212 Evo, which to be fair, is a absolute, absolutely awesome air cooler. Don't know if it's up to the task if you decided to use the capabilities of the 12600K and the Z690 motherboard that it is socketed into to overclock it. Go 12700K, hit uh, apply changes, bam. And there you go, 240 millimeter, all in one liquid cooler, uh, Cooler Master, Master Liquid ML240L. Just like that, $40 more. All of these are awesome. Pick the one that fits your budget, and roll with it. Now, should you get the 32 gigs of RAM? If you're just gaming, maybe. Cuddles was just telling me that he's playing uh, Call of Duty Zombies, I think. It was a game of zombies. He said that his system was using like, what, 22 gigs of, of memory? And that would be more than 16, if my math <laughs> uh, didn't fail me there. Certain games, Escape from Tarkov is what I'm told all the time, using a ton of memory, would require more, but you can just get a kit like the one I showed you in a higher capacity, the one on Amazon, 32 gig kit, go back two videos, you'll find a link to that just right there. And it's like 160 bucks. That's cheaper than these two combined, which is what you're actually paying because they take this kit away and add $120. This becomes a $205 kit. 
Uh, so let's say that, you know, you, you, you're like, okay, maybe I do want a 3080, maybe I do want a 12700K, but I don't like all this thing not being optimized. I don't want to get the budget motherboard. Uh, I, I don't want to get just a, you know, I don't like the cooler. I don't like the memory being not optimal. Let's go right on back to Alexander PC because if your budget is around three grand, ignore that one. I got something that is overall better. This, this, this system is amazing, all right? It's like everything has been touched on and you even have some, some customization options and it's in one of my favorite cases of all time. Uh, the Lian Lee Lancool 2 Mesh. Yeah, 1200K or 12900K, you make your choice, okay? 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler and it is the Lian Lee Galahad Unifan Edition, so it comes with a couple of Unifans on there. Absolutely rad motherboard with the ROG Strix Z690E Gaming. Tons of USB ports. If you're gonna stream, or if you're already a streamer and you're like, hey, maybe you're making a little money from streaming, or you're like, you know what, I'm serious about this, or you know what, I wanna have an easier time streaming. This system right here would absolutely slay it. It would be awesome. Great motherboard, tons of VRM cooling. You can overclock this 12700K, no problem. So for the memory, you got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance DDR5 at 5600 megahertz, or you can choose memory from ADATA XPG DDR5 6000 megahertz. 6000, that's a lot of hertz. And of course, M.2 drive, one terabyte, SN850 black with read speeds of up to 7,000 megabytes per second, write speeds of up to 53,000, 5,300, 100 megabytes per second. If you're gonna spend this much money on a system, lifetime warranty sounds pretty good. And small companies like Alexander PCs will go the extra mile to back up that warranty and make sure you're taken care of. You're, you're joining a community rather than just being a number. And again, you got the PC part picker list right here. I gotta tell you, remember this. 3080 GPUs are still going from 1800 to over $2,000 on eBay, which is a place where you can regularly find them, which is the only thing I can recommend. I can't say, hey, be at Best Buy every morning. Maybe you'll get a GPU. So one other thing I want to mention, if you were paying attention from last week's video, there was a little thing I talked about where, you know, I'm giving away a whole gaming computer because we hit 10,000 subscribers. I don't mean to be talking like this. I can't help myself. I'm so excited. However, I only listed one way on the Gleam giveaway to enter. And that was by following me on Twitter. Some of you guys didn't like that. I understand. I too am sometimes frustrated with the Twitter place. Uh, however, it's kind of a central thing for giveaways like that, and it just made sense as the first thing to do. So I told you every episode, I'd be revealing a new prize and a new uh, way to enter. So I'm gonna start with the smaller prizes. It's gonna go over the next few weeks. Okay, so be back here next Sunday to find out what another prize added on is gonna be and another way to enter. So the first prize, and this is gonna be the smallest sort of sub prize like for another winner who doesn't win the, 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 the actual computer. You're gonna have several prizes you can win if you don't win that, okay? And the first one's gonna be RGB desk pad. That's right. I talk about these all the time. I wanna get one of these into your hands so you can actually see the quality, the color, the print quality, how beautiful it is. It's absolutely dope, and if you like the channel, maybe you'll be excited about that. I know, uh, I know, I know I would. So, that's another prize that's thrown into the pool. We'll have another one next week. It's gonna be a bigger prize than that, and uh, another way to enter. But the way to enter is, for you guys who are frustrated with the Twitter thing, I'm giving you the easiest way to enter ever right now. And in fact, you're actually gonna get three extra ways to enter. Now, I am not getting any, like, Team Excluded, who I'm part of, is not actually part of the giveaway or anything, but I'm including them in this, and of course, my buddy Blasted. Uh, so all you need to do, go to the Gleam site and uh, make sure you're logged in, and you'll just need to visit our YouTube sites and go back and it'll say like, hey, you did it, good job. Three entries right there. So if you're frustrated about the one entry you couldn't get because of Twitter, guess what? There's three more right there. And it's totally free. So it's a Twitter thing, but hey, you got your you got your scruples and I 
I respect that. I'm going to tell you guys, there are going to be a lot, even though there's only a couple more, a few more episodes before the giveaway, there's going to be a lot more ways to enter in every video. I'm not saying it's going to be one more way every week. I'm going to be working more stuff in there, more chances for each of you. Okay. So those of you who are watching by the end will have the greatest chance. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm super excited about this. There's some insane stuff on the way. It's going to be so freaking cool. So I will catch you guys on tonight's stream. And there's another video coming out today. That is a setup tour. Make sure you guys check that out. Okay. Until next time. Take care.